Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting. Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. You guys definitely have situations from the past when it that, that you have a, a strong, strong emotional attachment to and it's keeping you in this state of, of instability. Two of Pentacles, you're juggling. You can't find that equilibrium. You're still holding on to the training wheels. Some of you, there's a person in your life or people in your life, you're their fallback. And you have to decide that you're no longer going to be the fallback. You're not going to play second best. You're not going to be the one that shows up for everyone. And yet you can never show up for yourself. And this is going to be very difficult. You're receiving some type of news and offer communication. There's confirmation though of some type of good news coming in. But you do have to make a choice here. And there's a reckoning happening. And it's taking you into a very positive new direction here. It's taking you towards everything that you've manifested, everything that you worked so, so hard. For some of you, this is you working very hard to have love, self-love. You want to be loved by other people and you want to love someone else. Security and stability, the divine feminine, you guys, you're, you're coming out very, very strong right now. Divine feminine could be male or female, but your abundance being stable, being secure, you're receiving some type of good news here. And it's going to make you extremely happy. It's like you're really going to be receiving wish fulfilled, like the ultimate wish fulfillment here. But I'm telling you, by the time you get to the finish line here, <laughs> you're going to feel like you've been drugged. Like that's ma that may be how you feel now. Like, wow. Right now, some of you guys, as these tower moments happen, you need to make sure. Don't let anything knock you off your square right now. You go around your family for Christmas. If, if they didn't buy you gifts or if there is fussing, fighting, arguments, if somebody looks at you wrong, says the wrong thing, whatever, let everything just roll off because it doesn't matter. There's the energetic shift that's happening here where the people who have been doing the work, you're about to go into a, a life and a lifestyle that is so, so over the top so beautiful for you that nothing really matters you have a lot of stability and security that's coming into your life some of you have more than one person in your energy you have a king of pentacles and a king of swords here something has to be cut out and the ten of swords is here with the six of cups so there is some type of past situation or past life karmic situation that you have with someone this has to be cut completely out so that you can move forward okay that's exactly what I just said. Your ships are coming in, but many of you, you have multiple people in your energy. Okay. Mercury retrograde, you have those people from the past coming back and then you have people that are entering your life now. Now, the reason why a lot of these situations are coming off very confusing, because a lot of you are actually connecting with soulmates or maybe even a, your actual counterpart. You have a past life connection with this some of you with a new person and and just about any connection that you get into there is some type of karma associated with it both good and bad okay so like i said for some of you and i, I know i've been channeling this for a while you could meet someone new that situation may not be ideal to you right now because of certain circumstances and conditions but your character is being tested. God is trying to see, will you at least give this a shot? Because God can still bless you and, and he's still in the business of working miracles. Are you willing to, to, to take the training wheels off and, and hop off the porch to try something new? Or are you going to keep on trying to beat the same dead snake? There's good news coming in. Somebody wants to make you some type of offer. It could be small, but it's something that can grow. But for some of you too, you're being prepared for marriage, commitment, businesses, things like that. There's a certain aspects of your life that are just completely over. It has to be null and void. I've talked about for some people being... um called to go into these very high level like soulmate twin flame partnerships your energy cannot be shared with someone else's 
So if you're still holding on to exes or you're still allowing exes to hold on to you, that's going to be a big problem. Some of you, you have a lot of past uh, like karmic soulmates. You cannot actually go into a union with a twin flame until you let go of all of those past karmic soulmates. Some of you, you may be deciding to detox your body, detox from social media. Maybe you want to start your social media page over. Just really, I mean, doing a full reset. And it's necessary because for a lot of people, you're going to have to prove to the divine that you truly are ready to move forward towards love. And this is new love. Ace of Cups. It's new love. Three of Cups. Some of you can meet someone while you're out celebrating, but you have friends and, and family members and, and a whole new soul family or tribe of people who have the same thoughts and beliefs as you. There's equal give and take. They pour into you just as you pour into them spiritually, emotionally, energetically. These are not one-sided connections. And this is what a lot of you need at this point. The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You actually need to be in a place, in a position where you are loved and cared for. This is what you've been investing in. However, you have to stop trying to force this type of energy or connection with people who just do not have this to offer. I feel like a lot of people from the past are about to try and put, I'm telling you, they're going to put their best foot forward. And, and I try to say this because energy is energy. It could be past, present, or future. It's fluid. You can have people from your past who come back. And they could be in a new energy. You have to discern that for yourself. A lot of people, you will know that they're, they're presenting themselves to you again, but the energy is no different. And these people, they want to cast these different spells and illusions to make you think that you can never ever have anything better and i feel that god is really trying to get a message across that no try something new because the thing about this you guys is if you try something new or try someone new and it doesn't work out if anything from your past is for you it will present itself to you again it'll keep presenting itself to you if it's truly meant for you but some of you need to ask, have you allowed yourself to try anything different? Have you decided to choose happiness instead of being angry? Have you decided to really, really put your all into dating somebody new? Or are you still waiting on this person that you consider to be your twin flame or soulmate? Like, have you actually taken a ride without the training wheels? Like, really just going all in. Because this energy that's coming in for you is all of this is very beautiful. And it's like all you have to do is surrender. All you have to do is let go of this person, this place, this thing, or this mindset. That's all you have to do. It's like all you really have to do is say yes. The contract is, is there in front of you. All you have to do now is sign on the dotted line. That's it. There's a new life here for you if you want it. But I can see there's fear. What if this doesn't work out? If it doesn't work out, you go back to the table. Your strongest negotiation tool is you being able to walk away. Some, pe some people you have, people from your past, they won't offer you what you want. You keep going through negotiations with this person, this job or, or this friend or family member, walk away. Walk away and mean it. They're either going to come back with a with a better offer or you'll be on your way to the next offer. This Mercury retrograde and this new moon is going to force you to really make permanent decisions in your life. If you truly want the sun justice, if you truly want for things to be balanced in your life, if you truly want your karmic justice, joy, happiness, fulfillment, that new start, you have to be willing to make this decision.
and you're going to have to be willing to turn some things down because if you don't turn some things down or turn some people away, you're going to continue to be on this track of missed opportunities. There is something or someone or several things for some of you that's blocking you and you all know what that is. For some of you, it's the job. For some of you, it's the husband, it's a wife, it's a spouse, it's the person that you're co-parenting with. It could be your, your one of your, your parents. It's, it's a friend, it's a family member. There is something that you know, time and time again, you keep going back to it. Or even if you're not physically going back to it, your mind still allows you to go back to, well, I wonder if this. That person in your mind that you always think, well, if it doesn't work out with this person, I know I can always fall back. You have to give up this plan B. Because God is saying, for me to give you what everything that I'm intending to give you now, you have to put all your faith and trust in the Most High. And when you put all of your faith and trust in, in yourself or in God, there, there, doesn't, there doesn't have to be a plan B. Because you're saying, when I make this decision, this is what is going to work. And it looks good. But it's something or some things that you cannot take with you. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Sun. Celebrations, home life, security. Abundance, marriage, commitment, engagements, friends, parties, promotions, investments, properties, grand openings. These are the things that you can look forward to. This is what's coming to you. And like I said, some of these things that may come to you and, and it could look small. But you may have a small offer that comes to you, a small collaboration that comes to you, a friend that turns into a partner, whether it be business or romantic, that opens the door to several other options. All you have to do is take the training wheels off. Like I said, once you stop riding the bike with training wheels, you get, a, a, you get your big boy, big girl bike. And then you get another bike, and then before you know it, you you have a mountain bike. Like I said, it it it, it gra you you graduate. You get a bike every time you grow a little bit more. You get specialty bikes for for different things. You get off road off road bike whatever. But you just have to first take the training wheels off. The whole world of bikes opens up once you take the training wheels off and you learn how to ride that. Once you learn how to say no to your past, everything in your life will open up to you. You have to realize now that you've mastered yourself, what more is there for you to be stressed out for? Where is this fear and anxiety coming from? This right here is an attack and it's a tactic of the enemy to keep you stuck at a crossroads in a stalemate situation because you're refusing to actually walk simply by faith and not by sight. You don't have to see everything, but if when you know that you are protected and you know what you want out of life, you may not always see it, but you can still be faithful about it. Because the partnerships are coming. The equal give and take, and like I said, it may come, your 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 love of your life may come as a friend. The business partner that you become a multimillionaire with may come as someone that you just met in a coffee shop a few times. Shared a few laughs, conversations, you happen to start talking and all of a sudden you realize you and this person, you have the same, the same goals, the same mindset. But if you're so paralyzed by fear, constantly worrying about the issues, the obstacles, the chaos, the drama, the competition, who's bullying you, all of these things that are within you and around you, it's very difficult for you to actually see all of the blessings and abundance. And for a lot of you, this is absolutely 100%. This is spiritual warfare. I always tell you when people can get a hold of your, your mind, they can control everything. Those family members, those naysayers, those friends, once they can program you, once they can get you 
jacked up in the head, I mean, from there, they can make you do anything. And they can stop you from doing anything. And it's not just them. It's what you allow yourself to think and manifest as well. We all have to be very, very careful. And it's something significant about just being able to close out the next seven days of this year strong. Some of you right now, you may feel like you're like you're really experiencing like a nightmare. Like you don't know what's happening. Everything is being lined up for you. Like I said, the contract is being slid across the table to you for a new life. Are you going to sign it? Or are you going to keep saying, well, let me sleep on it because I need to figure it out and you want to sleep on this new contract so that you can go and check to see, well, should I take my friends with me? You know, should I take their, their ex-lover with me? No, sign on the dotted line and move forward. Any person that's meant to go with you, they, they will meet you where, wherever you're going. They'll show up. Just take the leap of faith. bunch of cards fell out. Yeah, two of pentacles. Look at this. Instability. Seven of wands. This is the fight of your life here. You're protected, but just because you're protected doesn't mean you don't have to still fight. That doesn't mean you don't still have to stand up for what you believe in. And you have to stand up to whatever this is that has this mental blockage, the programming, the false beliefs, the distorted perception about life, love, and everything else. And you not understanding for yourself truly what wish fulfillment is. For some of you, you have been, you haven't been very honest with yourself about what's wish fulfillment for you. What does it truly mean? What does love and success look like to you? Ten of Pentacles, strength. Yeah. Finding your the strength, your inner power, and having courage is what's going to take you to your next karmic cycle. And a karmic cycle doesn't have to be bad. Many of you are coming out of the karmic cycle from hell. And you're going into a karmic cycle of paradise. Because you've already planted all of those good seeds. But now, again, it's like if you want to sit there in hell, you can and the easiest way to do that is to keep sitting at the table with the people that you've been eating with in hell. Or you can say, no, it's time for me to go in a different direction. Yeah, five of cups. You got to stop crying over spilled milk and go with Ann here. And see the truth about who or what has been holding you back. Why have you been holding yourself back from this awakening? It's fear. And keep in mind that this isn't you. This could be someone that you're dealing with. You're going to have to let go of this in and out type of behavior. Even yourself, if you're, if you're lacking discipline and consistency in your life, that's something that you may want to look at. But for so, those of you who have these people in your life, they keep rushing in and out. They're hot and cold. They're irresponsible. You know for a sure fact that they're just not in alignment with you and your purpose. You're going to have to really put that sword up and be honest about that. Be honest with yourself and be honest with them as well and say, listen, I can't do this. Because you're only holding on to it because you're afraid to try something new. You're only accepting this because you're afraid to try something new. You're only allowing your boss at work to disrespect you because you're afraid to, to try something new. Because you're afraid to start your own business or apply for a different job. Some people will stay at a job simply because you like the commute. And you have a friend there that you like, but your boss is disrespecting you constantly. And you have anxiety every time you pull up in the, the parking lot. Some people are staying in relationships. Why? Because it looks good on the surface. Some people are married and they like the person's family, but not the person that they're actually married to. It's, it's a lot of these safety nets and security blankets and training wheels that everyone is going to have to just let go of. You
you have to now make a decision to move in a different direction. Walk away from all that just doesn't serve you. You have to walk away from things that are not emotionally fulfilling and go on a new journey. A journey where you know that you have access to the world at large and, and you're not limited. Yeah, judgment. This karmic cycle that you've been in, you need to look at this with compassion and see that People have come into your life with a plan to hurt you, to harm you, to destroy you in some way. They were working for the devil. This was to get you out of a cycle of being codependent so that you will learn to not be toxic, so that you will know to have more worth, more self-worth and value and love for yourself. So when you think about these situations, instead of being so mad and angry about them, give thanks to the Most High because you learned a lesson. You learned all that you were supposed to learn in all of this heartache, this pain, this turmoil, this, this cycle of hell that's now taking you to a new cycle full of paradise. You had to go through this to get, you know, pretty much like to earn your stripes. When the training wheels come off, you're going to fall down a few times. You may get a scratch or two. But eventually, you'll be riding people on the back of your bike. Eventually, you'll be riding outside of the neighborhood, right? Eventually, you'll be you'll be riding your bike everywhere. There's no no place that you can't take your bike. But the things that you can do on a bike with no training wheels, you will never do it with training wheels. You're gonna have to let yourself out. Drop the burdens and decide that you're going to win by any means necessary. And this is a decision that you have to make quickly. Quickly. There is no more delays here. This page of pentacles here, there is an offer, an opportunity that's being presented to you. It can, it'll sit right there in your lap when you simply just make the decision. I'm, I'm ready for it. You have this temperance angel in the background. Look, the temperance angel is saying, I'll put an end to everything so that you can move forward towards the Ace of Pentacles. But you're going to have to put in some work with, with the divine, with the most high, with your angels, your guides, and your ancestors to get this done if you want this type of victory and success. And this new moon is the time to do it. The new moon is the time for you to dig deep with this page of swords. Really assess and evaluate what you're doing. Do, do the research to see what exactly is that wound that you keep on trying to clean up around it, you're gonna gonna have to irrigate that wound this time. Like really get in there and have the confidence to say, I really do want my wish fulfillment now. That's where that's where many people are right now. And it's, it, it's scary, but if you've been doing the same thing for 10, 15, 20, for some people, 30 plus years, you should be tired of being tired of the same thing. So at this point, move on and try something new. I know everyone is like, oh, it's a new year coming, but this is different. This is a totally different type of energy. This was the year of the number six. Everything has to be balanced out. Next year is the year of the number seven. Next year is the, the year for you to be vindicated and victorious. So over the next seven or eight days left of this year, and this is a timeless reading. Whenever you hear it is when you're meant to receive it. But don't be afraid to cleanse and clear everything. Out. Like I said, some people you have wounds that you're not, you're just cleaning up around it. You're going to have to go ahead and get find the core of it so that you can let it go for good because I tell you guys all the time you have these different entities they feed off of that wound when you close that wound up they that's where they like to fester and, and go they can't get there they can't get access to you anymore once they cannot smell their blood on you anymore from that wound 
So clean up the wounds and take the training wheels off. I just feel like a lot of people right now are most likely being attacked. I feel that strongly. But this is different because these attacks, they it's an attack of the mind, you know? Um seem things seem okay one day and then the next day. It, it's this up and down energy. Look, the magician and the emperor. <laughs> Now, on one side, there's a magician. You, you, you are manifesting an emperor. You're manifesting a lot of security and stability as the emperor, whether male or female. Okay? Some of you, you have a, a masculine in your life who is a master magician who has done several things to keep you stuck and blocked. You're really going to have to... Be very, very, like, determined and persistent about moving forward. Because here, this is the, the hermit card. You're finding the truth that's going to finally set you free. That's going to allow a lot of spiritual growth. You're finding the light in the dark. And what a lot of the, what many of you are realizing is that the light in the dark is actually you. You're finding yourself. That's why you have to take the training wheels off of that bike in your life so that you can explore and go different places. So that you can be a light to others. You can travel to other places. Some of you, your spiritual gifts are trying to come in. Maybe it's time for you to start astral traveling and projecting or, or going back to past lives trying to figure out who you are, where you came from, and what you're meant to do. Those are all things that you should be tapping into now. The Six of Wands is here. This is saying, congratulations, you, you've done a good job. The Page of Cups. Like I said, it could be a small offer that comes towards you, but you have new friendships, new relationships. Things coming about. Also, the page of cups can simply just be um, you coming into the awareness about a new spiritual gift or a spiritual gift of yours becoming stronger. But this is with the eight of wands here. This is going to open you up to a lot of new activity, a lot of movement. Things that you used to have to work so hard and so long to get, they're going to start coming to you lightning fast because you're going to be aligned and ready for them. That's why you have to clear away everything that's blocking you and everyone too. It's nothing wrong with going in hermit mode, the queen of wands. And here is the sun. Yeah. The knight of swords, the high priestess, and the nine of wands. This is the hangman and the empress. Exactly. This is all about your spiritual strength and growth and you realizing that it's time for you to be very passionate about going towards the sun. Being very passionate about becoming awakened and enlightened. Seeing the joy in all things. Knight of Swords, once again, this is taking sudden action. You have to move quickly. And you're going to have to be logical about some things and not overly emotional. This is the Knight of Swords, not the Knight of Cups. So even with the Page of Cups, even when things come to you and it seems dreamy and it's loving and it's sweet, you know, some of you, Mercury Retrograde, you're going to get those sweet, cute texts from certain people, but you're going to have to quickly make the decision that, no, I have to move away from that. You're going to have to be strong, committed, and diligent. When it comes to all of your decision making, and you do, you need to use more logic than emotions right now. Because you're building for your future. The Nine of Wands is here. So the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, this is, again, determination. Being the wounded warrior, but saying, okay, you know already that you haven't given up. But you're going to have to keep pushing through. And when you get to the thick of the race like this, you never know what may come up. But the perspective card is here, which is like the hangman. 
This is saying that you need to take a moment to yourself to reflect and see that you can do things differently here. The Empress and the High Priestess. This is you balancing feminine and masculine energy, but still being primarily in this Empress energy. But understanding when to be masculine enough to act on your plans as a divine feminine. You're very creative, but it's like, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's definitely like a merge, like that temperance energy, like fire and air, or, you know, not temp, but it, it's alchemy, you know, it's earth and water, it's, you know, when to be grounded. Also, for a lot of people too, this goes back to, as I've been saying, the duality here. It's really great to be a, a divine being, but we still live in a 3D reality. You still, it, it's nice that you have the psychic gifts and the awareness and all of that, but are you acting on your plans? Do you realize that your creativity needs to be rewarded? How many million dollar, billion dollar ideas are you sitting on that you're not sharing with the world? You have to start putting things in motion. Some of you, there's a particular person that's going to enter your life that's going to help you with that. Could be a masculine. We did see the um, the emperor first and the magician. Some of you, it's it's an it's a, a counterpart that's missing. They hold the key to helping you to be more balanced and assisting you more with your elevation. Not anything codependent, but it, it balances things out for you. But for some of you, there's another person. Just like you are someone's blessing, someone is your blessing. It's time for you to co-create it and for some, procreate with someone that can help balance you out and elevate you. But you have to get rid of all of the karmic energies around you that are holding you back. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Again, another card of action. And I just, the nine of swords almost came out. Yeah, here's the world. And here's the ace of wands. You have to quick, oh my goodness. The ace of wands, the ace of cups, and the ace of swords. That's three aces with the world here. So, something here is ending, okay? Or it has ended. Something is coming full circle. And you have passion, love and a major breakthrough here the only ace that's not here is the ace of pentacles but this is the eight of swords with the king of swords queen of swords so here is yeah it's a, a counterpart situation here or you just being balanced one thing yourself. So you're getting triple blessings and abundance here. You're, there's opportunities here. Amazing opportunities. There's new love here. Okay. And for some of you, honestly, it's like you have the type of love, a friendship, a business partner, a romantic relationship or something that's going to come in and it's going to bring about so much passion that your ideas and how you execute your plans and ideas is going to drastically change. And you won't be stuck and stagnant. You're going to find yourself really, really making progress. If this isn't a lover for some of you, you're really about to connect more with your, your spiritual team. With your angels, your guides, your ancestors. So while you're taking those training wheels off, somebody's gonna be there. So when you when your bike tips over, they're gonna help you straighten it back up. You're receiving divine help. Whether it's through a friend, family member, a lover, or whatever, you're receiving what you need. A lot of you though, this is a counterpart. The Queen and the King of Michael are here. This is the Queen and King of Swords with the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is saying. It's time for you to get out of your head and make the decision to change your situation because nothing is holding you back other than what's in your mind or what somebody else is putting in your mind here. The queen and the king of swords are two people who are 
they're trustworthy, they're insightful, they're logical, they're rational, practical, um, usually well respected, but these are the type of people who look at things in a very objective type of manner. That's what I'm saying. You have to come out of making decisions just you always make decisions with your heart, but you can't be overly emotional. You have to be emotionally intelligent in this situation. What whatever this is with you. This is where you have to really, really start using your wisdom. All of the wisdom that you've gained in this test, the trials and the tribulations, like, yeah, it's like being very open and honest. Too. These are all communication cards. When people come into your life now, you need to be very clear about what you want and what you do not want. Some of you too, because this card, the Queen of Swords, it says now is a time to focus on your career rather than relationships. So for some of you, you know, it is, it's, it's a time for you right now to focus on your career or your business or, or healing and other things and allow yourself to, allow yourself to actually heal from whatever cycle you're coming out of. Because some of you, you've done a lot of healing work, but like I said, the core of that wound is still there. You haven't gotten in there and irrigated that wound. You're going to have to get the core of that, whatever that is, completely out. And maybe by choosing to work more on your career, yourself, your health, fitness, hobbies, family, or whatever, maybe that will take your mind off of whatever it is that you have to leave behind. And when you least expect it, someone who is your match will come in. Someone who is just as ambitious and... You know, they, they have the same principles as you. Yeah, the nine of swords. This is unnecessary doubt, fear, and anxiety. This is still carrying the regrets. Five of cups. Yeah, carrying the regret of a situation that left you disappointed. Instead of seeing that everything happens for a reason. That job, that relationship friendship or whatever that ended it ended for a reason and even if you don't fully understand the reason you need to accept it for what it is now and stop giving it the power to hurt you and keep training wheels instead of you know riding your big girl big boy bike because the four of wands is here and the tower and this car actually says change your life with the four of wands your life is changing and here is justice. Your life is changing. And here is two of swords and two of wands. This card says it will all be better if you just make a decision. You're overanalyzing a problem. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Fight for equality. Don't give up. Just make the decision how to change your life. For some of you, this is your health. Like I said, things with your family and your finances, it's not going to just happen for you. Maybe you need to go to God and say, God, take the training wheels off. Just like kids. Eventually, they see the big kids riding their bike and they go and they tell the mom, dad, or whomever, take the training wheels off. You have to make that decision. And this is a really big decision. It's going to be something different for everyone that hears this reading. But there is a decision that must be made. And it's simply a decision for you to be willing to move into something new. Let the heartache and the pain go. I'm actually going to leave it here, you guys, because... I feel like this this is a reading that a lot of people you can sit back and really reflect on what it is that you know you are kind of stuck on and for for all of us it's several different things just take some time to reflect on that okay um because i'm telling you even now you may find yourself very very triggered because you have a lot of outside influences and forces that are trying to attack you and work against you to make you, you know, keep the training wheels on. 
but you're going to have to really just break away from that. And you'll know what it is. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I tell you what. This um I love these cards. They're called the Power Thought cards. I never use these on the channel. This is a deck I used to use um, in personal readings. Okay, so it says, the universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and believe. I have unlimited choices about what I think. I choose balance, harmony, and peace, and I express it in my life. It says every thought I think is creating my future. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Getting a hold of your mind, not allowing the projections or the illusions to affect you. You're going to really have to get control and power over your mind and your own thoughts so that other people's thoughts don't affect you anymore or their projections towards you and your mind it says i begin now today to open myself to ever increasing prosperity my income is constantly increasing so for some of you this is definitely a time where you need to be focusing on your finances your career and managing your resources better and the last card it says i am not limited by any past thinking i choose my thoughts with care I constantly have new insights and new ways at looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. It says it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. Your reality can be changed. I want to see what this one says. Oh, wow. So this one says I am willing to let go. It says, I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them, and I am free to create that which is meaningful to me. Yeah. You got to let go of some people, places, things, and situations. And this says, I now create a wonderful new job. Heavy, heavy emphasis here on, on work. It says, I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position, using my creative talents and abilities, working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money so for some of you it's time for you to go ahead and start that business the empress and the high priestess came out for some of you it's start it's time for you to start doing something that allows you to be more creative you're needing to find um turn your pain into purpose and your purpose will lead you to more profits